Welcome to 17th of July's Glory Blessing. Supnipada says, May you increase your saving account. Now, this is a spiritual saving account, not a physical one. By paying attention to your treasures of time and thoughts. These two are the most important treasures. Time is very precious for everyone. And thoughts. And become a multi-millionaire in terms of time and thoughts. You have, in fact, many treasures, but you have to pay special attention to your treasures of time and thoughts. Make your thoughts elevated. Means people are thinking low thoughts or low frequency thoughts. I can't do this much. I can only do this much. God says, no, don't put limit yourself. Elevated thoughts. Let's help the whole world. Let's think about the whole world. Not just my family, my society. I'm thinking for the whole world. I want to serve the whole world. Elevated thoughts. And obviously we have to start from the family first, from the self first. But we have to think, have a greater vision. That's an elevated thought. And pure at every moment. Make your thoughts elevated and pure at every moment. And your saving account will continue to increase. So you see, when we are having elevated and pure thoughts, the power of the soul, energy of the soul is increasing, vibrations are increasing. On the contrary, if you are thinking of degraded thoughts and impure thoughts, the soul gets tired throughout the day, de-energized, or feels tired, doesn't feel any zeal and enthusiasm. The reason for lack of zeal and enthusiasm is what? lack of elevated thoughts and lack of pure thoughts and your saving account will continue to increase at the present time when you save one that means elevated thought your time you're saving you receive multi-million fold that this is the calculation this is the bank that gives you a return of multi-millions for one therefore no matter what even if you have to renounce something say let's say a practice or a habit which is taking away a lot of your time and taking away a lot of your thoughts, you have to renounce it. Leave it, let go. God is saying. If you have to do tapasya, you have to do certain work, you can't renounce it, let's say. But you have to think elevated thoughts and pure thoughts regarding that situation or that kind of negative situation which has come in front of you. You have to do tapasya. You have to keep on overcoming the negative thoughts or overcoming the, uh, the degraded or low frequency thoughts. You have to suppress them and impose powerful pure elevated thoughts then do tapasya that means meditate and think of all those pure powerful thoughts if you have to become humble no matter what happens God says you have to become humble fine I don't want to have any kind of argument with this person this person says I can't do it I'm worth nothing I don't have to prove anything I don't want to waste my time proving anything I don't want to waste my thoughts proving anything I'll just do it and it will be shown I don't have to voice it out be humble don't declare that you know i'll show it to you or who do you think you are be humble don't have to prove anything don't have to speak it out the most powerful beings are those who act and then speak who become victorious and then speak they don't speak about the victory until only they have achieved it no matter what happens pay attention to these two things and you will become a multi-millionaire multi-millionaire